mean, I, I don't think we will moon to overwork any in a normal situation if we as it of violence. Umuntu, 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 umuntu rotan. But about situation now, when the hotel out train is so super, so violent. On time, about nine, by two, zero, about nine, we bring, we bring salary for two foot. In my two, we sit in as is forty, I'm not. Cause him say Benza see two only end. Young people in Zimbabwe have been at the center of both political and state sponsored violence. You find that young people have been used by different political actors to met out violence against their own and against their own fellow uh, peers. And this is a result of the uh, economic vulnerability. Zimbabwe, like most of sub-Saharan Africa, is experiencing what we can call a youth population bulge, where the majority of our people, the majority of or the biggest population group in our economy or in our countries are young people. And these young people have lagged opportunities, both economic and training opportunities, to enable them to empower themselves. So because of that, because of lacking economic opportunities, because of lacking training opportunities, they have become vulnerable. Their vulnerability has seen them being used by political actors to met out violence against um, other young people or fellow young people. Well, you should understand something about young people. Young people, the situation in Zimbabwe sometimes informs what young people do. It's because we are going through uh, a transition from economic mismanagement, uh, economic misadministration, to a time where we are transitioning into a middle income economy, where the vision is to do that by 2030. Right now, we're going through austerity measures and, and what government is doing. What usually happens because of the situation in the country, young people are then prone to be used politically by many political parties, especially those that are against what the government is doing. You should understand something about protests. If someone is petitioning government, if someone is demonstrating and they do it peacefully, most of the times, you know, it doesn't have effect. Most of the times it's done and it just ends there. How many times have MDC been protesting? How many times have MDC been delivering petitions to government? Ever since their formation in 1999, they've been doing that. But did, did anything change from what they've been trying to pursue in their agenda? Nothing changes because they know that they now then resort to violence. The idea is to say then, okay, let's let's make a violence. Let's make sure this whole thing is violent so that it grabs international headlines. And then, like, a protest. So, I a criminal record. I have a police criminal record. criminal record. vandal. criminal record. But you go to the celebration, you go to the celebration, you go to the celebration. You go to the celebration, 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 you go to the 
imiche kakulu ngoba yoni into okuthwa hi youth ukuthi include kwezombanga azwe athe singafuni ngoba into okuthwa lisu otsha limele estate alimela ngokuthi limele ukuthi libula lingancane angithi ama youth anamhlanje amaningi especially lawa a engejwa ngama political parties special like ruling parties abasebenza uti private uti private abanye abantu ebancindezela ebatshaya be baba bulala le kusasa yabo ngoba babanika ama drugs abantu labana bangacaba ngingalutu babone khona ukuthi abanjiwe abane ungathi yakhangela ungathi yakhangela most victims ezile emkhuhlane nje nge AIDS ibone laba abantwana ngoba bala control violence in zimbabwe has been a part of our political history this was used as a way of including or inviting people to be part of the process of building a post colonial state in zimbabwe in particular i'm talking about the violence the gugurawundi violence which took place between the nine in the 1980s between the years 1981 to 1987 where we saw an army of young soldiers being deployed into the Matebeleland and the Midlands regions where they were involved in heinous crimes against humanity where we saw people being killed people being raped lapho kwakusi ba lokuzima khona uzuse saba lokulala endlini ukuthi mhlawu mbunga cacha sizwe abanye futhi uzokuthiwa abanye banyamalele ukuphela ye uzuse sabo kulala endlini ukuthi ah mhlawu mbe bangangibuya bangingenele ngoba labantu babe ngasathembeki labantu bathi ukuthengisana kube khona khona lapho liyani into buhlungu ngoba sitshiwe ngabantu esibaziwe sibakhangela abantu abanye benyamalala bengazi ukuthi bafakwe ngaphi abanye siyezwa kade sikule uhlelo oludinga abantu abanyamalala abanye bayetholakala amathambe ezimbalwini abanye babegqitshelwa ngababili ngabathathu ubuhlungu lokho yani ukuhlukuluzeka ukukhulu eh ngibona ngazathi eh emuntu nomutsha eh lokho kwenzakalayo ukugqibela imbali ngoba anti imbali isenza sibe kwazi kuba ngabantu aba different from lokho kwenzakele ukuthi hayi umuzibane ubele engumuntu odlakele kungakhulunywa against that umuntu yakwanze that i know mina kangifuna ukuba nje ngozibane but in zimbabwe lapha wonke umuntu ngenxa ukuthi odlakele alo condemn so umuntu wonke ucina ekubona kuyingxenye yani yemtilo njalo ukuthi hayi ngibonakala ngingcono kulozibane that's one second abantu abatsha eh kucina ku affect i social life yakhe ngoba kasakwanza ukuphila labanye abantu ngokuthula ukuthi kade sayi beza kala ukuthi hayi no uzibani nangu ngiyafika lapha hayi ngumuntu lathi singakwanza isibonisane laye nje ngingxenye yani ye society wonke umuntu usenjani usemisa aba so ke abalimaza kakhulu psychological okunye ungakukhangela nalo loludlakela olwenzakalayo osolwenzakele abantwana abazalelwa kulo one abantwana abalahlekelwa ngabazali ngombhuqazo they lost it educational so abatholi amathubo ukuthi ngoba ngizelwe emngcolini esilodoba nje ngithole imfundo enjani eyeneleyo so uma ngazathola ngimfundo enjani eyeneleyo akasakuqanisa ukuthi ethini ezuzi amathuba emsebenzi ayiyo secondly umuntu wonke from a cultural point of view he is model lokuthi ngikhuliswe ngabazali bami yiko lokho abazali bami abanjani abafisa ukuthi ngibe yikho ungahlala ungano lihlo ngandle but time after time ilizwi lomzali wakho liyabuya liyakugayida so mbona ngazathi abantwana abangasela abazali babo bahlezi basempini against themselves ukuthi kambe lokho ubaba wayefisa ukuthi ngabe kubanjani and so forth and so forth but abalitola ngalo lothuba so mbona ngazathi kuba affectile kakhulu abantwana abangasakhula kusonga ngabazali babo economically lezimpiloni zabo namhlanje ukuthi nje wonke umuntu yakhe ethi hayi ngiya ekhaya ngiya ebazalini bami 
Uma banya bantu be kunwa vaza li vaku we nulepi u you are just wondering what the very gatu baba me umtonja. Central to the commitment of or to to these crimes has been the culture of impunity, where we see those who commit these crimes have never faced justice. So they continue to do it because they know that nothing will happen to them. As an organization, our peace building work is focused on ensuring that communities will never again experience violence. In doing this, we are implementing a three-pronged strategy. Number one, the strategy of building a culture of tolerance within communities where we are bringing in young people who are different players um, in the Zimbabwean political landscape, young people belonging to different political parties, to dialogue, to interact through platforms we have created such as the political parties forums, through sports for peace festivals, um, through um, uh, peace, uh, peace parks. Secondly, we are promoting intergenerational dialogue between young people and different generations of a society that have experienced different forms and different um, uh, 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 natures of violence. Thirdly, we are promoting an access to justice program where we want to see young people who have been victims of violence accessing justice, uh, young people who have been victims of violence being able to report their cases, see their cases through the justice delivery system and ultimately um, uh, eventually see a conviction, see um, justice being delivered without fear or favor. We are promoting an access to justice project so that young people can, so as a way of stopping the culture of impunity, but also as a way of ensuring that young people who have been victims of violence develop a new sense of confidence in the justice delivery system. We know that our history has seen young people who have been victims of violence being afraid to report their cases. In some instances, you go to your police station and you're a victim of violence and you're arrested because the nature of our justice delivery system has for a very long time been partisan. Now that we are living in the so-called new dispensation, we want to see a change in how justice is delivered in this country. We want to see a change in how, in, in how um, the, uh, the legal system or the justice delivery system begins to deliver justice in a, an impartial manner. As a commission, we have always amplified the mantra that peace begins with me, peace begins with you, peace begins with all of us. So all we are saying is that it's a process. We all need one another. We need each other in terms of all processes. And one of the key fundamentals that we are amplifying also is the issue of dialogue. So for us, we want young people to test the system. We're looking at cases that uh, span over 20 years because our legal system allows young people to actually report cases that are within the 20 year lifespan. So those young people who have been victims of violence, those young people that have been affected by violence, those young people that have failed to report their cases of violence, we want to firstly teach them or build an awareness on what kind of cases they can report. Secondly, we want to build an awareness on what kind of evidence they need to produce. We want to link them up with lawyers so that they can actually have some kind of representation. We want to help them walk through the process of actually walking into a police station, reporting their case and following it up until the closure of that case when um, uh, 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 justice has been uh, achieved or justice has been delivered.